was a center cut when it went. Silver center cut. That's a technical term. Yeah, that was. <laughs> now, I don't, you don't see that every day. I mean, yeah, I mean, very rarely you see that. Green flag wave signifying the start of round two. One of these 12 drivers will win the bowl. What do you want to do here? You want to do it up there? I know what Kurt Busch wants to do. He wants to get out there and get going. Can't seem to get any takers here. He is not necessarily going to get heat the tires right away off pit road. Hamlet and Menard also, and Keslowski. I just wonder, a lot of these drivers saw what happened in that last at the end of that last round where everybody was getting held up and cars were coasting in and getting the way of others. They just want to get out there and get a nice, clean lap. Well, as things get hotter here through the afternoon, is, is the track true? losing grip? Oh, yeah. That's a good point, Mike. It got definitely, this, uh, this track, it's hot out there today. The track tip continues to go up. I've already got a lap on my tires. Actually, you got two. You had to come around and get the green. And now I, I wouldn't even think about getting on the gas while I at least got down here to turn 10. Well, that's what I was so surprised when I saw Kurt Busch just take off hard right off the pit road. Yeah, and, uh, and, and I'm just wondering if, if maybe he felt something different. Maybe he didn't feel like he got enough heat that put in the tires the first round. Well, a lot of times, I mean, you got you kind of got a, a thing that you like to do. You know, you got a, a, a program you kind of go through, and maybe that's his program. Some guys like to just get in a rhythm right away and stay in it. Really nice and aggressive and clean up there through turns one and two. This is Hamlin. Like that. Put the throttle up. He's still going up the hill with back in the gas. This section of the racetrack, it'll make you draw up a little bit. Yeah. Right, put it just right. See what he does here, you gotta get that little apron right there, that worked. Transmissions, as have been in muscle cars ever since the muscle car era began. It's a three-pedal car, gas brake and clutch, but you never touch the clutch on a lap like this. Not anymore. We've seen over the years where some of the, the real road racing experts do the heel toe where they, they have the right foot on the brake roll over to, to give it throttle as they push the clutch in to match the RPMs. These days, almost all drivers are doing left foot braking, and, and the transmission doesn't need the clutch to be engaged in order to get it in and out of gear. So the fastest way lately, left foot brake, shift, and you know, Heck, you barely even have to get out of throttle on the upshifts. You just have to match a little bit of that RPM as you're coming down to the down. Yeah, even, even back when I did, we, you, you know, we always could upshift without using the clutch. Right, 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 right. You could hit that, but coming into a downshift, had to tap that clutch. So those transmissions were a little unpredictable. Well, plus, do they have the synchronizers in the, those transmissions? Well, some of them, but then we got through the straight cut gears. Those are early Jerichos. Even those were hard to, you know, to get the match up. You were good at really good to rev the engine up a little bit and match it up to get it But most everybody in my area kind of had to downshift using the clutch a little bit. And all those things that we're talking about is what's made these cars so much better, so much faster, so much more durable. So the clutch pedal is really only used for coming out of the pits. Pretty much. But I will, I picture this, uh, you have some of the old school drivers, some of the old guys, the guys that have been around a while. I bet you, I bet you Matt Kenton is used to the clutch. And I bet you 
much as some of the other guys do, too, that, that kind of grew up that way. Kyle Larson, second. Donald, fourth. Koslowski, fifth. Bernard, sixth. Danica Patrick, fifth now. I think a nice pickup for Larson to get up there in the second. And I'm still really liking this lap by Kurt Busch. I think he's, he's giving him something to shoot for. Yeah, watch Brad Keslowski. This is turn four. He kind of missed that corner. That's about as far outside as you can still get by with it. And right now, he's six quickest in this two car. Larry, he had to drive it back onto the racetrack. I mean, normally we just kind of bounce it back. But you have to drive it. One of the things you do as you're coming downhill to turn four, you want to carry as much speed in, in there as you can. And you may say, okay, I'm going to carry a little bit more, but I'm going to clip that inside uh, curving to get it to turn. Well, he sort of missed the curving and it sent him off uh, pretty wide. AJ Allmendinger. Now, AJ was one of the last ones to leave off of Pit Road here. And look at this lap he's putting together. He's been waiting for the road for his ace up. to show up, and look, I think he just did. Yeah, it looks like it's pretty good lap so far. Yeah, he's got a 10th in the bank. Really quick in this rhythm section of Essence down to 10. Two tenths now. Oh, you got him out line, but here, right there, that's nice. This is where I think he's at his best, is in this breaking zone in the turn 11. Oh, yeah, look at that. He must well, be the top 15 in practice yesterday, but look at that. Oh, oh, man. Man. Yeah, he, locked, he, he missed the apron, or the uh, apex slightly, but will it be enough? Yes! Wow. 11487. Now, we still have those Toyotas to go, though. How much do they have left in the bank? So Almendinger from Los Gatos, down south of San Jose, about an hour and a half from here, but this is his own first time. AJ Almendinger at the top, Tony Stewart, sixth. And here's Carl Edwards. Mark Truex just rolled, as did Kyle Busch. Look at behind Almendinger coming through the S's here. Car looks good though. Boy, it does look at him gaining the path right here as he goes into fast right hander turn 10. Boy, that car looks solid. solid there. That's going to be all about how he executes turn 11. Oh, yeah, look at that car turn. Wow, so that's what Alma Digger did not have right there. Look at him gain oh, time. Where he really picks it up coming back. He's going to get back. Back. He's like a Boy, Alma Digger would love to have turn 11 over again. Edwards by. Yeah. By about eight one hundredths of a second, Carl Edwards to the pole. This team is really starting to gel, man. They're really qualifying, racing. Carl doing a great job. Good, good, good work. So we're down to Martin Truex and Kyle Busch. This is coming to get the green flag for both of them. Boy, Carl Edwards is going to just be thinking about that lap, trying to figure out what, what did I leave out there? Did I leave something that my teammate can go improve on? Charging hard, I think he may be running a second lap. Okay. Well, Kyle's just he's just flirting with it. Look at how close tight these times are between Truex, Kyle, and Edwards. Yeah. And when he got, you see how good that car turns before it even gets to the center, and he stood on the gas and stepped out maybe a little more than he wanted to. Yeah. He got a little chatter getting down the hill there as he went into four. Definitely one of the things I'm seeing with these kids' cars is just how good they rotate the center of the corner. Unlike what AJ Allmendinger had through turn 11, his car is really tight through there. Truex, look at this. Really good through turn 10. Well, he did that. Yeah, he did. He really did. He's given up a little bit on entry, but as long as he gets a big launch here, I think he has a really great shot at this. I haven't seen anybody get off the turn 11 like Carl Wood. No, no. really rocking it down there. And eighth for Kyle Busch. 115.22. So Menard's run two laps. He would complete his third this time around if he chooses to.
And Brad Keselowski just began his next lap. So he's eligible to come around and finish. His time has expired. He's going to take another shot at turn four here. <laughs> See if he can keep it down uh, on top of the curve. That's what I like about this kind of qualifying. You get, you get to go back down. It may not be any good, but as a driver, you'll feel better about yourself. Look at that. Nice launch up there. Nice pick up for Paul Menard. He is ninth. Paul's really solid on the road courses. Really knows how to keep a you know, car right on line and make, make some really smooth laps. I think Brad's just testing now. I think he's just, I'm gonna put me in a couple of practice laps. Well, I think, you know, sometimes when you, when you make it look like he did in turn four and you go that wide, you don't know how much time he gave up there. And you think, boy, if I had another shot at it, I think I could really make up some time. But I, I don't know if that cost him as much as he thinks. No, I don't think it did. Well, his first lap was 63 hundredths off pole, so from our track, it looks like this lap is going to be a little slower. It is, and Brad will start at 12. Good job, dude. Good job. That's awesome. Let's have a look at Carl Edwards building speed through the S's. Did y'all ever say whether we were doubling up or not? On the bed? <laughs> look at that. He, he really didn't even use the curves to get turned through turn seven, but look at this thing flow through these S's coming down the hill. Sweet, that car is perfect. Wow. Carl Edwards has his 19th career pole. 